30 seconds of mouthwash rinsing a day reduces your NO levels by up to 90% for 24 hours. So when I heard this, I was shocked and I wanted to understand exactly why this happens. So NO or nitric oxide is incredibly important for the body. It's a vasodilator, which means that it actually helps blood flow through the veins. Now I saw an amazing podcast just recently on the uh, CEO of a diary of a CEO. I'm absolutely convinced this will eradicate and cure Alzheimer's. Really? The data don't lie. And I'm a data guy. And the, the future of medicine and healthcare around the globe is going to be dependent upon this. How one crucial molecule can impact our health, brain function, and longevity. That molecule is nitric oxide. This guy was talking about NO, but he didn't talk about the science in terms of the chemistry. So I quickly want to talk about how NO bonds uh, from a chemical perspective. Um, and then I want to say, you know, what you can do to help your NO levels. So I thought, well, you know, I know that nitric oxide reduces blood pressure, it's a neurotransmitter, so it actually helps sleep, helps cognitive ability. There's many, many areas it helps, especially for men as well, because it helps vasodilation of blood vessels. So there's a million areas that it helps with. But I always thought, okay, nitrogen and oxygen, NO. The air is made of 78% nitrogen, 21% oxygen, 1% argon, so I thought it must be in the air, but it's not, because the air is N2 and O2, two oxygen molecules and two nitrogen molecules. NO is just a single nitrogen and a single oxygen. So nitrogen has five electrons on the outer shell, two on the inner shell, that's seven, because it's number seven on the periodic table, and oxygen is number eight on the periodic table. The next one along from nitrogen, there's two electrons on the inner shell, six electrons on the outer shell. So I'll try and put a picture here, but if you imagine how they bond, a lot of people call it a triple bond, it's actually a two point, two and a half bond, um, but it's actually a very strong bond. It's not the strongest bond on the, on the Mendeleev table, but it's a very, very strong bond. So that's how nit nitric, without going into the biology, nitric, nitric oxide comes from nitrate rich foods like beetroot, um, spinach, leafy green vegetables, you know, those plants are taking in the nitrate from the soil. Um, and when you eat it, you take in the nitrate. Now, here's the important part. Your oral microbiome takes in these foods. When you swallow the food, the acids in your stomach convert the nitrate foods to nitric oxide. So if you use mouthwash, what actually happens is, and trust me, I've used mouthwash twice a day for decades. So that's why it's super important to me to understand exactly the physics, the chemistry behind this. When you then swallow the food, because you're then washing your mouth at night, right before bed, and washing your mouth in the morning, for 24 hours, that actually stops the NO production. Because these mouthwatches, mouth uh, they contain chlorodexine, antiseptic, and that thwarts all NO production, which to me is just amazing. One simple change and you can remove the, you know, reduction of NO by, you know, 60 to 90%. So, yeah, as soon as I found this out, I stopped using mouthwash. And there's also another thing, right? Now I'm using toothpaste. So I went to the supermarket and looked at all the different toothpastes. Now, all of the ones I were using, all the big brands, they contain sweeteners, they contain flavorings, they contain fluoride. Toothpaste is super important. You clean your teeth in the morning and at night. And at night, toothpaste stays in your mouth. Now that affects your oral microbiome. So it's super important to know what you're putting into your mouth. So, you know, I won't go into fluoride now. But yeah, so I found, I looked at every different type of toothpaste, obviously this isn't sponsored. This was the only one I could find in the whole, in a huge supermarket that contains um, no artificial sweeteners, no sodium uh, lauryl sulfate, no preservatives, no parabens, no dyes, no fluoride, fluoride-free toothpaste, because there are some light links to fluoride-reducing NO. Um, and it uses 100% natural baking soda. Every single ingredient in here, I've been through all of the ingredients, every single ingredient is natural. So these simple changes over the next 10 years are massively going to improve my health. So yeah, I just wanted to pass that information on because I think it's super important. It's very hard for them to bond. So if you look at all these ingredients here, oh, sorry, lo siento. 